Estuaries are incredibly important as far as nurseries for a variety of species. And many of the fish that, I see, that I've collected here already this morning in the slough behind me were actually just, uh, are actually small fish. Uh, they're actually young of the year. And subsequently what they'll do is they're just in the estuary for a short amount of time. About 70% of all oceanic life actually has their origins in bays and estuaries. And I, and I brought a few here. Uh, not only do these fish you know, just stay here in the estuary, but some of them, the last fish I'm going to show you, actually has uh, fairly far ranging. This fish that I keep people saying, you know, it's not alive, it's not alive. What it is, it's actually a flounder. And uh, it's also called a flatfish. It's a starry flounder. And if you look, it's brown on, on this side. They're incredible chameleons. If you turn them over on the opposite side, he might flip out of my hand there. But it's actually fairly white. And subsequently, you can actually, uh, it shows its white side is always down. It basically lives on the bottom and, and uh, you can see it kind of move around and t generally just kind of fluffs itself up a little bit and, and moves into the, uh, the sand. Uh, this, this particular fish you will always see in the, the actual wetted area. Other fishes, such as the other fish that I have in here, when the tide floods in and actually covers the salt marsh, you can actually see these fish ranging all through the salt marsh and uh, as they actually forage for a variety of, of different foods. Uh, this, is, this particular fish right here, he kind of almost looks like a rock, if you will. Uh, this is a really a cool, uh, it's called a cabazon. It's a member of the Sculpin family. And this is a really neat uh, mottled coloration from the standpoint that it, it basically lives on the bottom and hides and waits for a, a hapless little uh, bug or, you know, or, or an amphipod uh, to swim by and actually eat it at when it's uh, a little smaller. Uh, the, the other fish I caught, and I caught this very quickly today, uh, there's, uh, this was just caught out of the, the, uh, the estuary uh, reserve uh, just uh, down bay here a little ways. This is actually a Shiner surf perch. Uh, there's estimated to be 20 million of these in Coos Bay. Coos Bay is a 10,000 acre estuary. There's, there's estimated to be, again, up to 20 million of these. That, that takes a lot of, a lot of food to uh, basically uh, feed all those different fishes. And again, estuaries are very important for nursery grounds. The last fish that I'm going to show you, and I'm going to show you two of these, is this particular fish right here. This is actually, and he's going to be a little harder to hold on to because he's kind of slippery, but I'll get him eventually. But he, yeah, and I <laughs> he knew he was going to be hard. Yeah, this, and you can barely see him. I have to kind of get his head. He's very silvery. Do you see how pretty that fish is? And I'll just hold him in my hand before he flips away. That's but. Insane. Very good, that's a salmon. It's actually a Chinook salmon. Uh, some of our Seattle viewers would know this salmon as a king salmon. It's uh, known by various uh, names. Uh, this is actually a, a fish that absolutely has to have an, the estuary as part of its nursery grounds. And from the standpoint that uh, you, it has to spend some time in the estuary to forage before it goes to the ocean. The, the, the estuary is incredibly important to these fish. Without them, you would not virtually have Chinook salmon. Now, one of the things I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you a fish over here. If you want to gather around, this might get you a little wet, so uh, you've got to have to be careful there. And you want to just go ahead and just stand right over there for a second, but I'm going to pull this one out for you, and hopefully... And, I... and see, that's why I said it's going to get you a little wet. This is basically what that fish is going to look like in three years. So you can imagine the incredible growth that you have on fish like this. This is a fish that's ranged, started here in Coos Bay Estuary and ranged all the way to Ock Bay, Alaska, where its feeding grounds are. And that basically kind of concludes our, our spot as far as vertebrates in the, in the estuary.